Okay guys and girls, I'm going to shoot a new video of this 1950 Chevrolet Style Line convertible. Um, this car has disc brakes in the front. The car stops well. They are not power disc brakes. Um, get that out of the way real quick. This car has a all aluminum Ram Air Trans Am LS1 motor in it that had like 40,000 miles on it when they put it in this car. It has a 4L60 overdrive transmission and a 10 bolt rear end. I've driven this car to St. Louis three times now, about 90 miles an hour. It uh, it runs and cruises great, runs about 190. Um, even on a 95 degree day, we've been driving it. The AC needs to be wired up. It's all there, the belt's on it. Everything is hooked up, all the hoses, the condenser, everything. For some reason, the wire was not on the compressor when I got it. You can get to it and it has an aftermarket wiring kit and I'm pretty sure I know which wire is supposed to plug into it. but you're going to have to to deal with that i'm not doing anything else to this car other than i'm going to do a couple cosmetic things to the interior in the next couple days and then i'm completely done with it and i'm going to put it on consignment and the price is going to go way 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 up so if somebody wants to jump on it before i put it on consignment great you know if you can find another ls powered fuel injected you know overdrive 50 you know cheaper than mine that can be driven 90 miles an hour all day long on the highway then good luck um all that being said, the tires are new, the gas tank's new, numerous new parts on this thing. It took them a very long time to, to get it going, and the paint was weak on the car, so I had the car painted the same color. The car has two flaws in it now, which I'm going to eliminate one of the flaws next week when I get time. Um, other than that, the paint turned out really, really nice. Um, I did not have them do the jams because the jams were the correct color. So they're they're worn, period, correct, because they're old. But the paint on the car turned out great. Um, so it does have fresh paint on the exterior now. And like I said, it is a 5.7 uh, all-aluminum LS motor with a 4L60 overdrive trans. Um, it needs it really needs a good a cool gauge setup in it i'm not putting one in it it's got aftermarket oil temp amp and fuel gauge and they all work um i'm not putting a speedometer cluster in it because if i pick one somebody else will pick another um it is a manual top manual steering manual brakes i cannot emphasize enough that the brakes work great you hit them and they'll jerk you so they are disc brakes um, I'm going to paint that steering column tomorrow or the next day antique white to match the dash and I'm going to dye the lower door panels the darker green to match the inserts on the seats and then I'm done with this car. I'm not doing anything else to it but drive it. Um, I plan on taking it to the rod run in, in September and I plan on taking it to cruising the coast in October if it's not sold. I have 20 cars right now and this is my favorite and this is the least I care about getting rid of. There's other videos and other still pictures of the underneath. This car's in great condition. The frame's in great condition. The exhaust is new. Like I said, just so many numerous parts, new wiring, this, that, the other thing. There you go. There's a picture of it with the new paint, 1950 style line convertible. Um, the chrome is all in real nice shape. Um, you know, it's not perfect, but it's nice. So especially for as old as it is but just a super cool car um you know the paint just had some chips rock chips here and there and some chips around the edges and stuff from opening and closing the hood and things like that so anyways 1950 chevrolet style line convertible fresh paint it's not perfect there's a couple of flaws but it's a 72 year old car. It was never going to be perfect anyways. I'm kind of glad it isn't perfect because I get mad when they're perfect. There you go.